Welcome to Las Vegas Modern Kung Fu Channel. This is Sifu JJ Tiger Kung Fu Tutorial Step by Step. Let's go. Spinning connect with Beatrice landing by Tiger Hand. Strong move. Quick talk about the Beatrice. Three things for Beatrice: take off, rotation, landing with Tiger Hand. Beatrice to take off, your height is very important. Your height have to go the right side, all the way go down, almost touch the floor, and come back to the left side. <laughs> your left feet to take off from floor hard you can, at the same time, your right leg to kick high you can, and with your height, has a good angle, so your height go up, and your kick your right go up, then you have a good takeoff with B twist. Right. There's one more thing, when you do rotation for B twist, your boss leg cannot be too wide open. If it's too big, your rotation will be slower, and your body will be too shaking somewhere else. So, your boss leg has to be close as possible, or together, that's the best. Now let's talk about the landing. So once you do the B twist landing, your left leg will be naturally landing first, and your right had to go speed up, go down because you want to cut the balance to landing stable so your body don't want to lean so much forward so once you're landing your right leg quicker and you can to landing like straight and then you quick go down and your knee on the floor and you push your tiger head so that's the whole combo of B twist take off, rotation and landing Also, you can check my other tutorial for B-Twist tutorial right here. Slow motion. Sweep with your heel kick. The slap kick on the top. Your left hand right above your head and your right hand on top. This is a protection move. If you someone to attack, you go protection and you connect with hit the floor. So what the move for for hit the floor? Actually, this is grappling move. And same time you go low to that. If someone to attack you for so in the form training, this is a connection move. You gotta quick up and go down, and we connect next move. Single slap kick. So you gotta kick boom quick, and you slap on top of your feet. So this kick, you have to walk quick and kick really quick and quick go down. This is you kick your chin, and it can be go down quick and attack again. So after the kick is very important, you're landing your right and you quick your left leg to go back and your head become tiger head, top, left, right and under. Back sweep, one of my favorite move. So let's see how to training with that. When you're training this, you set target on the floor, you put whatever on the floor. So movement one, you both hand on the floor, you stay low as possible, and then you lean your knee, your knee on the floor, and you gotta push the floor hard you can, and you rotate on this way, and go boom, to sweep, this way. And the same thing to the other side. So you go, what to sweep, that, and you go sweep on the floor. So with the back sweep, your left knee on the floor for rotation, so your body stay centered, right? So you don't know where you stop, but it doesn't matter. So you set your target, and after you stop your rotation, you're quick to kick your right knee 45 up hard you can. <laughs> Enjoy the DSO and Tui Zhang. So, Twitter. so first move your right on the top and this left on under 
So you're switching and left go up and the right under. So you push, boom, double and on the top. So you come back, you go the other side, left on the top, and right hand on the top and push. So training, one, two, straight, one, two, straight, and one, two, stop, one, two, power, one, two, stop. Okay, great, powerful move. Straight 45 this way and make a bigger step. And standing right there and you transfer, push. So your heel, power, and your knee. And push. So you transfer to this way. So one more time. Okay, great. And put your head together. That's it. One, two, three. Yes, so twist up. part is the snake hand technique so for this part you quick rotate your body 90 degree and you come back drop your shoulder and all the power go 45 down so this move can be block or attack so if someone kicking you or punch you you can mm, quick to blocking down or you can attack straight to the stomach so this part of a snake technique is connected with the last one. So when you go cross, you grab in the leg or hand, you go twist them and you attack by your part of their body. Very powerful move. So after you quick snake head, you go quick go up to block you on the top. Go quick, go down with both hands strong, so a little wider than your shoulder, and yeah, like a hammer fist, go down the both side. So in this part of movement, we have four moves. So the first move is a solution. So as soon you got the last move, boom, strike, and you got to go across it, right? For it, you go this way, and you go step to right, and make sure your first head will be open for half a down, the split head, then you step to the side to the right, and you go so your are both to attack by this way, your tighter head right here. So this is a Xing. So after this Xing movement, you cross your both hand, you start to wait and lock free and then jump. So when you just strike hard, that's the tighter head. So this fourth movement is a very useful and powerful movement to multiple attack with the circle around 360 degrees. That's all for today, my friend. This is for snake and tiger technique for Nanquan tutorial step by step. I didn't upload my video for a little bit of while because I've been really busy for other things. But what I do all about is Kung Fu Wushu Chinese martial arts. I love Kung Fu Wushu so much. In the last, thank you so much for supporting me all the way until here. So I have a personal goal, almost I get 100k subscribers. <laughs> if, you are, <laughs> if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button, help me to achieve my goal. My wife and my daughter, just in my background, they are moving left and right, but this is part of my job to deal with. But thank you so much for watching. I see you in the next video and bye-bye.